Let me open the 83 by 10s that I've got. And then if we get some uh, high fodder, I will put it into the exchange. I might actually, even though we're going to get some big SBCs coming up anyway, I might do a whole bunch of exchange packs anyway to get the crafting upgrade done. Go on, big Kimmich. No. Oberdorf. Double walkout. Let's go. Could have a blue in here as well. All right, 287s. Cobell and Oberdorf. And bum, 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 bum. nothing else. Wow. Just a Kola Moani duplicate. Frank has competition from World Trade Tent. Yeah, I think he's got a massive gallery now, hasn't he? 83 by 10, number two. Oh, it's a blue to start. Okay, Acuna is good for the exchange. Wait, how come he's walking out? I thought he didn't walk out properly. That's, that's a duplicate, but he's good for it. That's that's one of the better exchange players as well. Exchange packs options, whatever. Right, we'll do the we'll do these two exchange packs. We'll then put them into the eight three player upgrades. Hopefully, get a team of the week. If we don't get a team of the week, we'll do a team of the week player pick. Um, and then from the team of the week player pick, we'll get the team of the week to do the last eight three by ten. Happy days. Right, twenty seven player pack. Well, give me a walkout. Dumped an eighty eight in. In eighty four, I think, isn't she? Katarina Macario, again, 84. Not bad. Oh, a duplicate. Never mind. Damn it. And then a 51 players pack. Come on. Walk me out, baby. Never mind. Oh, dearie me. Is that an 82? It is. No duplicates, though. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. We don't mind that. Um... All right, let's go get those player picks then. All right, three of these 83 plus player picks. Come on. 87 Odegaard, good for the exchange. Exchange. The exchange. 83 Gavi. And then 85 Bono. And then Team of the Week player pick. Team of the Week. And this is why, even if you put the, you can put these back in the exchange. Even if it's Fluke, the 85, but we'll take him. All right. We got the 83 by 10. Here we go. Belgian. Right. Oh, Benteke. Are we get an inform out of it. Not a double walkout, which is awful. Yeah, that was awful. So yeah, I didn't didn't need to uh didn't need to need to grind it out at all. Oh, go on, Parejo. Ah, Tiago, never mind. I said I won't throw cards away, but 84s I will. I went commons. I'm on a game. Bless us here. Messi. E Maria. Not bad. They should triple the coins earned every match and have it more based on the skill of your team. The lower the skill, the more coins. I don't necessarily know about that. We need to get Pedro a team have for dinner today uh, i haven't had dinner yet hey mate i had soup earlier though hey there we go 86 kante go on the exchange mate there we go come on exchange op baby do our cancella right there no oh, it was a tavia ah oh, another dupe already it's on out of it all right we will use it we'll go and do it this is where it gets painful isn't it because you're just back and forth back and forth like this is this is where again like if they just gave a duplicate exchange Sorry, a, du a duplicate like storage. It doesn't even have to be like a hundred or whatever. Just just let it be like ten players. Just just let me get keep opening packs until I've got like ten players in a duplicate ex like storage, and then be like, okay, you've got to do something with them now. And there was marquee matchups. That was it for today. AFC new chips. I, I don't even know, mate. Because our, our KFC shut down actually. Oh, let's go. Let's go, baby. 89 Hegelberg out the exchange. Let's go. That's massive. For me, Jack, it's like one day I feel like I'm insane. The next day, I can't play the game. The next day, I feel like I'm insane again. And then I just can't even string passes together. It's mad. It's mad. Oh, inform. That's nice. That's super nice. Let's go. All right, back to the exchange packs. See you later, Ricky Powell. Got eight, but... Uh... Oh, let's go. An 86 player out of the 86 exchange. That's what you love to see. 
know what happened there. I don't know what happened there. Poland, go on. Eleven Lewandowski. Yes, it is Lewandowski. Let's go. Oh, that's delightful. That's why you throw away, guys. That's another... Well, well I'm actually going to save him. I'll only put 89s in the 89 exchange for now because I want to save the 90s and 91s for, um, for whatever big SBC comes out next. Devon Godski, love that. So, for example, if I want to complete the high, the 150, 77 packs in the two hours, a high probability I get banned. Yeah, yeah, it is, Andy. French. Centre mid. Oh, dear. Yeah, see, I've thrown away maybe like one team's worth, two team's worth. A few more of these, and then we can go and do some 77s. German. Centre mid. Barcelona. Nice. Another walkout. It's another 86 for us. Little high Honda one. Oh, there might have been a blue in there as well, I suppose. Right in there. And then a 51 player pack. Come on. Go on. Erd guard. Be a double walkout. Come on. Not, but that's all right. So from that exchange set, we got a 90, an 89, an 87, two 86s, and an inform. That's fantastic. It means we also got an 83 by 5, a premium gold, and an 84 by 2. I'm only one away now as well from an 84 by 2. So like I had 80, what I had 85 to go when I started today. So that has been a massive, massive uh, bonus. Let me take all of these packs as well because hopefully we'll get some good fodder put back into the exchange again to keep going. But I don't know who the Juventus Italian is. 284 pluses. Come on. Something big. Something nice. 87s, 88s, please. Pop. Oh, yeah. 88 Kimmich, baby. Give me some of that. That's another 27 players in the bank. Oh, is it Chiesa, is it? 83 by 5. Okay, old Saka. Rice, never mind. Um, we'll go through in a moment, and I'll show you what I mean of, like, one team to the other. Because I've, I've basically... Oh, let's go. Luka Modric for the exchange. I've, I've effectively, at this moment in time, got three different teams that I could slash want to use. One of them is... The Arsenal team. No, let's say four teams, actually. Four teams is a bit more reasonable. One of them is the Arsenal Evo team. One of them is the Arsenal team, because obviously there's some Arsenal players that are better than what Evos are on offer. Um, one of them is, like, the fun team that is kind of a mix of a couple of Arsenal players, a couple of meta players, and a couple of other Evos and SBCs that have just been fun. And then the other one is my best team. Right, so we've got the those four options of teams. And... The one thing I wanted to do with this series this year was look back at the end of it, you know, come June, July, August next year, was look back and be like, yeah, nice. I played 4,000 games with this Arsenal team. But because mentally I'm an 11-year-old baby, I can't accept losing. And so I just... Play with like I, I I just I'm unable to play with the team that I want to play with because I can't my fragile ego won't let me accept losing. But on top of that, I kind of then I'm like, what's the point of play? What's the point of playing champs if the rewards don't mean anything? What's the point of doing the objectives if the rewards? What's the point of like, like all these like a brand new let's say Cruyff SBC does come? What's the point of completing him when I, he doesn't fit into my team? And it kind of like means the, S the the account loses its like value. Maybe if they had something similar to Fantasy Cup on a weekly basis, there would be more relevance to the cards that don't go into people's main teams. 100%. 100 right, come on. Give me some uh, exchange players, please. 86 Dembele. Double. Oh, could be, could be someone bigger. Not 86 Dembele. That's all right. Some exchange. Oh, an 85 great score as well. I can exchange. 81 by 11. Love that. Move that walk out Spain. Send it back. Send it back. Oh, Parejo. Double walk out me. Let's go. We can have blues in here as well. Give me a big double walk out. Oh, Bedorf. Beautiful. What blues have I got? None. Okay. Okay, that's a lot of fodder wasted. Then we've got. Damn, did I do 12 of those? Or have I got another pack at the back? Damn. 1277 by threes, you know. Hold 88 dupes till. Yeah, yeah, I'll put it into the exchange. Hey, here we go. Argentina. 
Nice duplicate 89 for the exchange, baby. Give me some of that. Politano, 80% plus. It'll become 91 overall. I, th I think Politano could get all the all of the upgrades, yeah. I think it'd, be it'd become a 91 for sure. Oh, look at that. Ronaldo Silva and Martinez. Give me the exchange, baby. Leading up to team of the year, I was very meticulous with not really like throwing anything away and not really wasting anything and stuff. Um, but now that we're beyond team of the year, like it, A, it's so easy to get cards in this game. Um, and B, if I didn't have any cards or there wasn't any methods to get cards, league SBCs are so cheap um, that it would, it would just be easy to just like rinse through league SBCs to get stuff. Like basically it's like the time needed to sit there and meticulously do no man left behind now, I just don't think is valuable compared to anything. Like I don't, 85 pluses, yeah, I'll, I'll go and put those in the exchange. But um, but it, like basically eight fours and lower, like I just get them in abundance. As as would anybody that plays this game any any reasonable amount of time. Objectives got another another one of these season. Oh, we got season season progress packs. Another one of these other things. Once six hour is up and champs run is edited together, we need to have like six hours just to sit th going through our goes. Yeah, definitely. The, the, like like today, like I went and bought Kulusevski new in season today because of the injury to Richarlison. Um, and I was literally just sat there like, I should just sell players to get him right. Like also like I really want rare Erling Haaland, like old season Haaland, um, and he's going to be about a thousand pounds. I've easily got a thousand pounds worth of cards that I can sell that just don't really make much sense to my gallery. Kevin heard of God. Nice. No, no, no. Thank you. What team have I got right now? I built I built like that god awful Arsenal team, didn't I? That just wasn't fun to play with. I don't even really like this team. Like I, I am in such like a state right now where I'm like, I don't know who I want to use. Like I really want to use new cards and fun cards. But at the same time, I want to use cards that fit a playstyle that I have. And I'm not doing any of it, really. Kind of not using cards that I'm enjoying. I'm not using cards that fit my playstyle. I'm not using the cards that do fit my playstyle well enough because I haven't learned they're like their situation. They're both good. Up against. Damn. Damn, that's a hell of a team for a qualifiers game too. I'll tell you what. So oh, dominant. Hey, Penrith. Ever a pen? Okie dokie. I was getting handed it, man. He's getting, he's literally, oh, he's getting handed the win. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Ludovic Julie, baby. Hey, bring your keeper. Bring your keeper, pussy. GG's, guys. GG's. He wasn't even a bad player either. He was a good player. He was a very good player. Look at that, 190 passes for him. Our first 283 by 10s are done. Let's see if we can get some of these new players because they'll go into the team for some, uh, for some champs qualifiers. Oh, I've got some 77 by 3 still as well. Fair enough. Classic bags. Give me the preview. Give me the preview. Thoughts on Ginola? Yeah, I, 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 I won't be doing Ginola on this account. I know he's going to be like OP and broken and stuff, but I, he's just too much for me. Endler, that's all right. That's an 88 for the exchange. Oh, my days. Let's go. Endler and Aussie men. That is beautiful. We're going to have the... Uh, the um the other player pick the other player the upgrade thing done in no time which is good 83 by 10 number two german striker it's a little bit of pop oh double walk at me come on yes please ea oh lovely two more 88s for the exchange you gotta love it you have got to love it haven't you no blues though no blues right let me go and do some uh a team of the week pick Campbell, Martinez, Dalman, Carrasco. Too many good players in the game. You know, like, everybody's got too many good players. Like, who, how do you even, like, choose who to use, you know? What do we get here? 86, Ferran Torres. Ooh. 
Is the Enketia that I already own first owned? Or did I buy him? He was first owned. Take Ferran Torres. And we'll take Rono. That's nice. It's going to do the final 83 by 10. That's got Justin Bilo. Wow. Still were. Uh... Oh, it's an 83 rare squad. Well, there you go. Bit overkill, but never mind. We have got Luke De Jong. Oof. Air of the month, De Jong, bae. I genuinely feel like he's going to be mad. I feel like he's going to be mad. Four star, five star, six foot two. I'm going to put a, uh, probably a hunter on him. Maybe a hawk for that aggression, actually. I want to boost that aggression up as well. All right, let's get our store packs and go and open our... Oh, we've got a couple of small prime electrums as well. And th th this, is th this is the other great thing about the um, doing the Team of the Week packs. Getting a few more a few more golds and silvers into the club. Engine for sure. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe. He's already passed the threshold on some certain stats, isn't he? He's Xerxes 2.0. Yeah, I just couldn't get on with Xerxes. I love how streams of Bundesliga matches. Do they actually? So the Bayern, Bayern Munich game is on YouTube, is it? All right, here's our 83 by 10. Come on, give me one of these new blues. England, right back. Trent, double walkout. Yes. We've got a chance of a blue in here then. Who cares who the double walkout is? They're going to go to the exchange. Oh, oh my days. See, this is my problem now. I've got so many 84s. I'm going to have to go and do another... We'll go and do the exchange for Irene Paradis and then probably some more Team of the Week picks for these. 27 players. Very nice. Come on. Give me a blue out of here. Oh, it has as well. Let's go. Double walkout as well. Marmouche. And Sadio Mane. So we've actually got ourselves two 86s from the 88 exchange and an 85. That is fantastic. And... Our first foot fantasy team two player. Now, he's not ideal. I'm probably not going to... Oh, am I going to use him? How tall is he? Six foot high, low? I might. I might I might throw him in for a game. I might throw him in for a game. We have completed the play three FC Fantasy FC Cup. FC Fantasy F Fantasy FC Cup one thingy. And with that, the daily play. Which is quite nice. And with that, the daily play completionist. Oh, that was only one. I've still got two more, get two more games to play with that one. That was from uh, the qualifiers. And uh, another little thing as well for an 83-plus player pick. Hey, I'll take an 87 Luka Modric because the other thing we're going to do today is carry on putting everything big anyway, every high-rated piece of fodder we've got, into the exchange. And the reason why we're going to be doing that is because I really want to finish the crafting completionist thing ASAP, um, mostly so that we can then start building player picks when we get excess fodder because I think player picks are quite fun and then I also think the understanding of player picks to uh go on Sandra Panos um no player picks to exchange exchange back to player picks is a cycle that you can do quite intensely uh, so I want to give it a try and see if we can do that to also manage to grab ourselves some uh some of these new blues because I kind of want to put some of these new cards into the team before we finish our champs qualifiers um and then if there's any really good ones that we get use them in champs as well with that here's an 84 plus red gold player one 89 Ter Stegen. 88 Kimmich oh let's go I've got like six or seven 88s now so we're gonna have some really nice stuff from um from the exchange that's gonna be 383s that is isn't it oh no it's a Malinkovic Savage okay let me go and put him in the exchange as well, and I'll be right back. Oh, guys, it happened. It happened. I was just sitting here doing some of the exchange into the um, crafting completionist, and I've got some 77 by 3s to open. I came in because I claimed the 83 by 10. I didn't think it'd be the first pack, so I just like was spamming X to open like the first pack. Oh, yes. we have. I know she's not expensive. Mad cheap, to be fair, which is wild because, yes, she's injured right now, but it's actually possible that she's back for our second game, uh, which is in like just about two weeks. So it's possible she could play all three games that she needs to. Excuse me. It's probable that Arsenal will win two. I reckon we can even score. I'm going to hiccup again. Score the 11 goals. And um, maybe she can get like one goal or assist as well. So it, 
I knew I was going to hiccup again. It's entirely possible that she can go to a 92 slash 93. Improbable to go to a 94. But this card. Mm. I just, <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Oh, I just need Declan Rice now. I just need Declan Rice. I'm going to go and deal with all of this stuff here. I'll be right back. All right, guys. The, uh, mm. You would have seen the video on the channel a couple of days ago. If you missed it, go check it out on how to use the exchange uh, to farm this game. Um, we have now finished fantasy upgrades, which gives us an 85x3, an 83x10, and an 83x20. All of the high-rated fodder from this is going to go into Team of the Week player picks and um, the exchange. And then everything from the exchange is going to go back into regular player picks. And the cycle is just unbelievable. Like, genuinely unbelievable. Um, we've got Miedemar now, which is great. I want Declan Rice, obviously. I've got a whole bunch of the 87, no, 77 by threes as well. But we're going to open these big packs. I'll do the 77 by threes in my own time. You guys don't care about that. We've got Poland. We've got Striker. We've got Pop. Not a double walkout, but uh, that might be Pajor, actually. It is Pajor. However, great for the exchange. Great for the exchange. You can't lie. You can't deny it. You can't deny it. We've got our 83 by 10. Come on, EA. Bless us. German. Goalkeeper, Herstegen. Neuer. Not a double walkout. That's too bad. Great for the exchange. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here, man, but for the in, in the essence of saving time. Um, yeah, gonna, uh, oh, wait, I didn't mean to open a 77 by three this time. Oh, and be Luka Modric, why not? Oh, um, I want the 83 by Torwente. Um, yeah, here we go. 83 by 20. Come on. Got to be something big in here. German. CDM, Kimmich, 88. No. Double walkout, yes. Oberdorf and... Renard, an 87 and an 88. Give me these blues in here, EA. Give me Declan Rice. Come on. You know it makes sense. You know it makes sense. Not a single blue card. Oh, dearie me. All right. Fair enough then, EA. Fair enough. All right, guys. As we get into some post commed qualifiers, uh, we start at 2-0 or three and oh um and we carry on with the qualies and uh, of course we have just completed midamar and uh de jong and i tell you something man this midamar literally insane literally insane you'll hear me talk about her a lot throughout today's video because i absolutely loved the card now i've picked some comments from yesterday's video uh, sorry not yesterday's video the last rtg video uh, the first one is from Alan Finch. He says, with Son and Werner, this series is turning into the Spurs RTG. And do you know what it made me think about? It made me think about how many players I actually love in real life because of video games in general. And even teams and such as well, right? Um, but I love Hyung Min Son, even though he's a Spurs player, because of his Player of the Month from FIFA 17, right? It, I, I don't remember what my mentality was then. But it was probably like, oh my god, an SBC that's pretty cool. Let's do that, right? But that Son was just outrageous. And, uh, you know, he was one of the first players I had played hundreds and hundreds of games with. As we scored a little Scorpion there. Um, and also one of the first players I'd scored hundreds and hundreds of goals with. And so it was one of those situations where it was like, you shouldn't enjoy him, but you do. Even though he plays for a rival club. And similarly, you know, I absolutely love Gareth Bale. Like, Gareth Bale was one of my all-time favorite football players and he's a Spurs player and it's really really strange um that playing with a player in a video game can make you love them but it also comes down to and depends on how they play in the game right for example Thierry Henry is quite literally my favorite player in the history of the world right maybe by the time Bakayo Saka retires it might be Bakayo Saka but at this moment in time, it is Thierry Henry, right? I do not enjoy playing with Thierry Henry in this game. And isn't that mad? I was watching uh, after Arsenal beat Sheffield United last night. I was watching Henry talk about Arsenal. And I was like, man, I miss I miss him. And I was like, oh, man, let me let me put him back into my FIFA team. And then I see Miedemar and I see De Jong and I see Werner and I see Son and I see Bola and I see all of these 
other really cool players that I've got. And I'm like, damn, man, he's just not it again this year. And we actually thought, now his Thunderstruck might be, I haven't had the pleasure or displeasure of playing with it. The Thunderstruck might be, uh, might be, might be him, right? But the base Henri icon, even though they gave him a massive boost this year in, I think, balance, he's still just a bit heavy and a bit clunky and doesn't have the play styles I think he deserves and, and just doesn't feel like what I think he should feel like as one of the, you know, we could debate whether he is the greatest, but one of the greatest Premier League strikers of all time doesn't feel like what he should feel like. Now, this game here, guys, we did lose. But there's there's something's changing with me in the way I'm playing. And so long as I'm playing well, I'm not fussed if I lose now. It's what what drives me personally insane is when I'm playing bad and I know I'm playing bad and it makes me play worse and then I lose to bad players. Because if somebody had said to me, I keep playing bad and I'm losing to bad players, I would say to them, Well, you're obviously bad as well then, so you need to improve. And yet I know that I'm better than what I'm doing and how I'm playing. And so power shots from me to Mar. We score a couple of bangers with her in this, in this uh, not necessarily this game, but this set of play. And I just know that I'm better than the way I'm playing. But if it, I, I keep, I'm trying to like make a conscious effort to kind of say to myself, what would I say to somebody else that keeps saying, I keep losing even though I'm the better player? I say, you've got to get better then. Like, and so... Uh, in that game that I lost 5-4, I battered that guy. And so I came out of it like, yeah, still frustrated and things to work on and whatnot. Look at that for a finish as well. I think it was orange timed too. Um, but it's like, you know, it reminds me of what Mikel Arteta said last season. Like, so long as we keep playing the way we're playing, the results will come. You know, we lost the game where we dominated the game. And he's like, doesn't matter. I'm happy with how we played because we played how we were supposed to. Everything else will come. And that's where I'm at with it. I'm like, look, I might have lost the game, but I played really well. And one of the things I've been missing this year is I've been missing under, like just putting the basics together, just doing the things, the easy things correct. I'm trying to add in player locks and I'm trying to add in skill moves and ball rolls and I'm trying to add in cancels and I'm trying to add in um, uh, step over sprint boosts whilst I can't even get the basics of a one-two or of a triangle pass, or of a chip ball into the midfield, into some open space. So I kind of like drew it back, set myself instead a, a kind of task of like, let me just get the fundamentals of the game together. Because then when I can get the fundamentals of the game together, which I feel like I have now, I can then start adding in the extras and making a difference from going between 12, 13, 14 wins to 15, 16 wins. Um, so I also got a... Uh, a comment from I've got two comments and both of them require a little bit of talking but we've got two and a half minutes here so uh, Ross the Boss says I think you should do a champs run with the team of the alones just to see where you stand would be interesting to see it would be really interesting to see um, we got a response from Khalifa that says 14 wins max with two free wins he isn't that good at the game and it's like first of all 14 wins is incredible at this game I know like for me personally I'd like more but 14 wins is really good also I've been hitting, like, I hit 14 wins a couple of weeks ago, and then the weekend after we only hit 12 or whatever again. Last weekend, we went 15 and 5 and was 14 and 2. This weekend, out of how many do we hit? Trust me, we're okay again this weekend. And it's not with a super team. It's with the, not the Arsenal Evo team, and we're, we'll get onto that when we go to the main champs uh, gameplay. But it's with a good mix of some Arsenal players, some SBC players, and, and some players that we're having fun with. But one of the biggest things for me that ended up happening was I kept saying to everybody, if I if I played off stream, I'd get 14 wins easy. They were, oh, yeah, of course you would. And then, so guess what? I played two weekend leagues off stream. I hit 14 wins easy both weekends. And it's it's convenient, right? And I have been accused by a few of getting somebody to play my games. But like, oh my God, do you think I would do that? Hell no. Second of all, what a goal from me to Mar. Second of all, it's not even about stream snipers because I still come up against some really good players, some really good players uh, when I'm off stream as well. It's about how I mentally adapt when I'm streaming versus not streaming. And I really need to change that attitude whilst I'm streaming as well because there would be nothing better than smoking people like I have been off stream, 
on stream. And it's even different now when I'm live. When I'm like recording the video live, even if I'm not streaming, but I'm just what a goal that is. But I'm just um just playing live. I have this intense like pressure. And it comes from inter it's internal pressure. It comes from me. And there's no need for it. And it's it's literally like pointless and needless. And yet I do it constantly. And it's really frustrating. So that's kind of like the next thing to work on for me because it would be good to have these games live. I mean, I do I do like the postcom, but it would be good to have these games live. But anyway, we ended up going nine and one in the uh, weekend league. Sorry, in the qualifiers. Let's get those rewards. All right, guys. So with that win against Ronaldo Kaka, RMCF, uh, a Real Madrid fan. Uh, excuse me, I still got the hiccups. Um, we went nine and one in qualifiers, which is brilliant. Midamar is honestly sensational. If she can get some upgrades. No, the first two goals were cutbacks. I don't care about those. It was this one. The power shots that she has are just ridiculous. And I get it, right? I'm clean through on goal. But look how far out I am. She, whoa, lasers. Look at that. On that left peg as well. Five-star weak foot. Is it five-star weak foot? Or is she four-star, four-star? She might even be left-footed. I genuinely don't know. <laughs> I genuinely don't know. But we get nine and one, which is great. Um, you know, I lost one game. It was a game that I absolutely dominated. So I'm not displeased because I played well in all 10 games. Rank two is great. A rare mega pack, a prime gold players pack, two small rare gold player packs. If we could just get anything. Oh, I was, I was, I didn't do it as much as I hoped I would have done. But I was subbing on um, Okafor. So I've got the play two. I've only got one win by two goals. Oh. oh, I subbed him on in the last game and only won by one goal, I guess. Oh, never mind. Um, so that's cool. Now, did we get some objectives done there? Oh, we got five objectives. There's not five. Wow. Oh, my. Ooh. 84 by four. And then we get either an 85 by 10 or an 87 by four. I'm going to go for the 85 by 10. Why wouldn't I? Delightful, guys. Delightful. And then we've done three live items. All Adley. I just need to do some Bundesliga content now. Uh, so I need to put three Bundesliga players into the team. Uh, going forwards, that's just still delightful, isn't it? That's fantastic. Um, oh, what about that? Never mind. Honestly, guys, 83 is F. I should have done some player picks, but who cares? All right, who cares? We're here for the fun. We're not here for the grind. The grind will go off camera. That's okay. It's not like I'm ever going to sit there saying to myself, oh, I could really do some 83s and 84s right now. And if I am ever sitting there saying that, then fair enough. I'll just go and do some league SBCs. That won't be a problem. All right. Cheeky Kalo Navas in this one. Oh, it wasn't. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, a DeMarco that we throw away. A 75 by 5. I've still got a lot of 77 by 3 packs here as well, I think. So I've, I need to like grind through them. Um, but again, I will do that during my own time off camera. But once I finish here, actually, because I need to get prepared for champs. We get an 84 by 4. German. CDM. Joshua Kimmich. Let's go. It's not a double walkout, but that's still okay because... That is a big card for the exchange. We get Grealish and Pope, and I know I should put Grealish into the exchange, and I know I'm being lazy. I'm not even sorry. Right, this is a 77 by 3. I don't actually want to open these yet. I want to get into the uh, the um, Foot Champs qualifiers rewards. 9 and 1 is great. I haven't, I haven't hit 9 wins in a couple of weeks, so it feels good uh, to get back to it. So we get a Prime Gold Players pack. Not a special. Spain. Any walkout would be nice because I'm a bit short on coins, but no coin, no no walkouts there. We'll send Saucy Pedro up to the trade pile. I've got for coins right now, like 17,000 coins. It's poor. Uh, we've got a small red gold players pack number one. No special. France could be Mbappe, could you imagine? Oh, it's Nkunku. Delightful. Uh, so we'll take his coins. Romagnoli up to the trade pile. Got one of those small... Is that small prime or small rare? Oh, a small rare gold players pack. That's all right. No special in this one either. Portugal. Could be a Ruben Dish or... Oh, never mind. Uh, we'll sell Fernandez. And then the uh, the rare mega pack. Come on, EA. No, no special in here either. Oh, it's going to be really poor. Got a Zaha or something, isn't it? SEA. Couple of Hawks. Nothing else. The eight ball. Badger. Oh, awful. Awful. Honestly... EA, do everyone a favor. Just change the way rewards work. Change the way rewards work because for... What did I get this 85 by 10 for? Season pass, right? Come on. 
Let's 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 do better. Here we go. What have we got? Oh, nice. It's going to be uh, all black. Double walkout. Beautiful. So it's an 88 and at least another 88. Which is great for the exchange. It is an 89, which is amazing for the exchange. Do we get a blue in here? Yes, we do. That's fantastic. It's Yan Kuto. Oh, he's like quite expensive as well. So Girona are very good this season, obviously. And he's the starting right back for uh, Girona. So two wins, three appearances, and a clean sheet is likely for him. So going up to a 91 is very, very plausible. It's not a great card, but it is a good card. And with the upgrades, could be absolutely sensational. He's got decent play styles. Four-star, four-star, and can play right wing, which is quite interesting for him. Um, but that is beautiful. An 89, oh, I, I, think, uh, I think it's time to go and, first of all, go and get some player picks with the low-rated cards. I'm also going to go and put these cards in the exchange. All right, guys, so I didn't actually have as many goals in the club as I thought I would have. Uh, I went up to 80s again, as I always do with the player picks, because I like to keep the 80 pluses for Team of the Week picks and other SBCs. I got five Team of the Week uh, player picks. However, I went and dumped everything else into the exchange. Uh, well, not everything else, 87s and above. And we've got quite a lot of packs. So we're going to rip through those. We're going to get our fodder off of those. And then we're going to go and build, hopefully, you know, player picks only like, what, six players, right? Hopefully, like, 20, 30, 40 player picks, um, which should be quite good. And if that means that we can get some more of these blues, that would be better. I definitely need to do myself like three, four, five team of the week player picks as well. Um, but yeah, I've got all the 77 by threes too. Look at it. The exchange packs are just there. We get ourselves B Modric. B Modric. It's Modric. That's beautiful. Oh, it's a double walkout. The 89 exchange has given us back Luka Modric and... Come on, be an 89. It's Erdegaard, isn't it? Two 87s out of the 89 exchange. Delightful. Delightful. Look at that. Do we get a blue in here as well? Why not? Why not, EA? No, we don't. Um, we do get some dupes that I throw away. Because, again, you know, lazy. But that is honestly sensational. The, the, the run-through of the exchange into go on cam oh oh my days it's another walkout it's an 80 an 88 exchange this time we get an 86 back plus all of the other fodder so now of course if out of the player picks that we get from this fodder we get another walkout just it is genuinely like as good as an infinite grind now it's not good for completing sbcs that exist because you're putting the fodder back into the exchange right but what it is good for is packing promo cards. Because, oh man, it's so dumb throwing all of this away. But honestly, it is what it is, right? Um, because, yeah, you put all the stuff back into the exchange, right? So you've got no room for doing SBC. So once there's an SBC you want to do, do your SBC and then just go back to the exchange. Three days. And don't be like me and be an idiot. I've probably thrown away like three or four player picks worth of players, uh, which is dumb. Um... All right, I've only got 19 player packs left now. So I'll open like one or two more of these. And then I'll go and build a whole bunch. 280. I honestly should just be doing player picks galore here. Team of the week player picks galore here. I need to just pull my head out my butt and uh, get it done. Get Spain there. Go on, be a, be a big player. What is it? Not. Um, right, one more. And then I'll go and turn everything we've got there up to 81s again into regular player picks and we'll see if we get uh something good out of it nothing's gonna good nothing good's nothing good is going to come of that one so i will be right back all right here we go guys i just spent god knows how long building those on the web app it's way quicker than on console how many do we get 25 okay that's all right that's all right i'm okay with that because again if we get any high rated fodder that goes back into the exchange Hopefully we get some blues here. Maybe an inform or two. Any duplicate fodder will go into the team of the week player picks. And I've still got like a... Amazing. I've still got a whole bunch of those uh, like player packs that we haven't opened yet. Amazing. We've already got an 86 and an 87, which is 
Oh my God, and an 88. Okay, this is why it's infinitely repeatable. We now put these three at least. We've still got so many player picks to go. We put these three at least back into the exchange. The other fodder into the team of the week player pick. We've got 87 Marquinhos as well. It is walkout central here. This is crazy. This is crazy. That is an 88, two 87s, and an 86 off of the first, like, four or five picks. That is absolutely insane. Again, 85 daily. She's great for the uh, team of the week player pick because you need the 85, the 83 rated squad, of course. Can't believe that. Can't believe that. <laughs> uh, we get an 85 Shaw, who is very good for the team of the week player pick as well. Take 84 Russo, also decent for the uh, team of the week player pick as well, of course. We get. Uh, we'll take 81 Alvarez over Mancini there. I'm not overly fussed about trying to hold on to 83s. I wouldn't mind getting. A really, really good... Um, obviously, I wouldn't mind getting Declan Rice. But I wouldn't mind getting a really good blue card. Like It would just be really nice to get one of the elite ones. Um, right, we've got 10 more here. These are the last 10. Uh, 82 pillar there. As I say, 84 dupes I'm not overly fussed on. Especially now, because we've got the exchange and these player picks. Hopefully, we get the player picks back on Monday. Because uh, these player picks are just insane for this grind. Once they go... The grind kind of stops. And I wonder if EA are kind of looking at people thinking, oh no, we can't be having that. Uh, and, and they change it, but hopefully not. Okay, our pack luck's dried up a little bit. We do get a Grealish there, or our pick luck should say dried up a little bit. We've got all of our walkouts in the early stages here. But it's still been fun. It's still been good. Still, oh, we already have a Bila. Let's take Alvarez. We got some really, really good fodder out of this again. Some good exchange options out of this again. Two more picks to go. Give me a blue EA. This is a lot of picks with no blue. 86 Cruz. That's another exchange player. Love to see it. And then we end with a Zapatar. So I'm going to go and put all of this into um, Team of the Week player picks and the exchange. All right. It's a new day for me. It's moments later for you. All of the other packs that we just opened, I've built into the player picks. We've got 20. And I also went and did the daily bronze, silver, and gold. And indeed put our 86s 87s and 88s back into the exchange the run is literally now just player picks um player picks to the exchange the exchange of player picks the old team of the week thrown in here and there and um i feel like I, I feel like i don't even need to play champs and could spend all day just running the exchange to player picks of course we do need to get lucky enough to get a big card like that look at that team of the week 87 rated Gusens. Gusens is also good because obviously it's just He's, he's good for fodder, but he's also good for, like, maybe I want to do some of these player SBCs that come. And I, and I do. And I do. Um, I really want to do them. I don't really care about David Ginola. Maybe I should. Maybe Ginola would be good for us. Um, but that Jack Grealish, baby. We're going to be going and doing a Team of the Week player pick. Maybe even two or three after the end of this. So I'll take the 83s where possible as well because they're going to be super handy. Come on, EA. Give us a blue. Out of here. Give us a blue. We've got one walkout, but it wasn't in form. And of course, we need the high-rated cards back in the first place to go back into the exchange. But I've already got uh, a whole bunch of exchange packs ready to go as well. They're not the best ones, but it doesn't need to be the best ones. It just keeps need to flooding your club out, doesn't it? It just needs to give you the content back that you're kind of like taking away. And there's another in form. Oh, for the 80, if, if we get 83 by 10s back, that's going to be great. I think today was the last day for the 83 by 10s. Uh, we'll take an 81 Danilo there. We're going to have to go and use these dupes somewhere along the line. We get our first walkout, well, our first gold walkout from the player picks. We've got four left. It would be nice to get some of these blue cards. There we go. It's 87 Matson. And I will probably pack him a whole bunch more uh, during this promo. So I probably will put him into the exchange. But anticipate plus, jockey plus. King pass and incisive pass, rapid and relentless. The problem with him, the thing I don't like about him, is really low strength. What was the other thing I didn't like about him? I mean, his passing is not the best. He's, he's, he's he, listen. He might be worth. He might be worth giving a shot. He might be worth giving a shot. Uh, we then get ourselves. I'll take uh, Savanier there. Two more to go. Come on, EA, hook it up, baby. <laughs> oh, delightful! Another walkout. And then another walkout. It's an 88 Bernardo Silva. I'm going to go and do a player pick, a team of the week player pick, guys. I'll be right back. I went and built three 
team of the week player picks. I honestly could probably build with what I've got in the club about six or seven more. Uh, but I want to keep the low rated fodder for hopefully some other stuff that comes. I mean, 88 Vlahovic. I'm not going to use him in game. But again, for whatever SBC does come that requires some high rated informs, he, he actually looks pretty good, doesn't he? It's a shame he hasn't got a few better play styles. But it's another big 88 rated card for the team. We've also got ourselves 85, ooh, no, 85 Di Gregorio. And we've also got ourselves 85 Griffo. So not bad there either. A couple 85 informs of Lahovic. I'm up to like, maybe like 40 informs now. No, 20, sorry, I beg your pardon. And as I said, I've got some bronze packs and stuff, which obviously nobody cares about. Um, but I've also got some nice... Uh, exchange packs so we're just going to sit here and open some of these exchange packs again and uh you know i can hopefully build another 10 or so player picks this is what i mean man this is why i should have just carried on building them because it's just so easy to get 81s 82s 83s 84s back in the club in fact it is fair to say and i think i've made it abundantly clear already today from the way i've been playing this game and what you've seen so far it is fair to say oh, superb this is a six uh, sorry, an 86 rated uh, exchange pack that now gives us two player picks and a Neuer. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, it's fair to say that doing what I'm doing now is better than basically anything you can get from gameplay in any regard because it's just infinitely repeatable. Um, and uh, yeah, see again, look at that. Just more players that I'm throwing away that I shouldn't be throwing away because I'm being stupid, being lazy, not stupid, I'm being lazy. Um, so we're going to do a few more 11 players packs. Oh, let's go. French. Centre back, let's go. Stade de Rheim. It's only a single walkout, which is why we saw the blue. But it's an 87 rated Pascaro. And now once again, if we pack her again, she'll go into the exchange again. We also got Serge Gnabry and Gonzalo Pires. I actually don't think he plays... No, it was Mamana that left uh, River, wasn't it? So, yeah, Gonzalo Pires does still play there. Uh, we've got some 19 player packs. Nothing special in there. Portuguese Gorn, B. Ruben Diaz or Bernardo Silva. No, it was, it was Mendes, wasn't it? Yeah, never mind. But, uh, ooh, tradable as well. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just honestly, it's crazy. It makes me just want to sit here and do this. But then it's like, what's the point? Because the whole point of the game is to play with the players, not just get the players, you know? So uh, that could be a walkout. could be like Lavelle or something. It wasn't. It was Barnes, Juan Bissaka, and Arias as well. Um, and then we've got only 30 packs left. So everything you see now is the end. But even these exchanges, and, you know, these weren't from huge ones. Got 287s. Only Jekyll. Damn it. I was hoping for something good. I was hoping for something good. 287s, but a load more stuff load more stuff for more player picks and i've probably thrown away enough cards to have done a team of the week pick or you know two or three or four more other player picks so we'll just do these 19 player packs german gorn mcgull 87 tushdeg and 89 it was hummels 83 not what we want to see oh, watkins was tradable nice um but yeah we've got champs to play um i've got evos to grind in fact, I did put uh, a few other Evos in. I put Gabriel Jesus into that new Evo. Oh, that's an inform. Let's go. Canadian right wing. I don't even know who that is. Leon. Eight. Oh, let's go. 85 inform and an 85 otherwise. That is superb. But yeah, just want to show you guys. I'm going to go and open those packs like off camera because nobody cares about those packs. Um, what I did with some evolutions. We're obviously, work I've got... Oh. I've actually got no time left at all to finish Fabio Vieira. I've got three hours. I need to get three goals with him. So I'm going to go and do that right now. Um, we're working on Okafor as well. But I did put in Cedric into the uh, pick it up. It, it, he's still going to be a useless card, but at least he has no play style plus. But look at that for an 86 rated card. One play style and dead stats. Like EA need to offer a few open Evos. But I also went for Hertig into Fantasy FC assisting winger because she's five star, five star. And... Uh, isn't a terrible card. And I also did put in, you can't see it here, Gabriel Jesus into the other one as well because he actually looks quite good when he gets upgraded. How many have I got? 35! Let's go, baby. Give me some walkouts. EA. Give me some walkouts. 
Again, we'll take 83s, 84s. They'll go into the team of the week player pick. 85s and above, go back to the exchange. 81s and below, go back into the player picks. Just, just delightful. Oh, oh, Liz Melou. To the exchange. Jakobsen there. Bolton, wow. An 83 that I don't actually have in the club. That's very surprising. 84 Brandt. Or Ginter. Good fodder, isn't it? Jolene. Gold. Have I finished the crafting one? I have, mate. Yeah, I finished that last night. Jolene. Jolinton. Lamar. Come on. Where's my first big 87 plus? Where's my first big 87 plus, baby? I've only got an 86 so far. You not grinding that, Janela? Probably not, mate, no. There's an 85. Love that. Oh, these player picks have been stinky. See, sometimes they're stinky, man. Sometimes you've got, you, you know, get what you get and you don't get upset. And at that point, you just do, do your best. Oh, there's my 87. Bronze, delightful. Delightful. But I, I think Jindal is too expensive. That's why I won't do him. I've, I'm, I'm, I'll another if another big SBC comes today or tomorrow, or whatever, I'll do them. Um, but yeah, I think Jindal is too expensive. Damn, three eighties. You do 275 player picks for the price of the whole crafting upgrade. Wonder if I should have done that. No, no, the crafting upgrade's worth it because you get the, the group packs and you get three players back every time. Hey, Karchawi. That's only our second walkout so far, though. That's not that not that good. Oh no, it's our third walkout, I beg your pardon. We did get the 86 as well. So we have got three players for the exchange so far. Not ideal. You want to be hitting like five, six, or seven. Regan. Yeah, this 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 run of uh, player picks has not been not been too stellar. But it can all change in one player pick, can't it? Fortunately, the packs that we got were were giving us some some good fodder back. So we got plenty again for the exchange run next. All right, so we'll put Koke and Bran in Team of the Week player pick. These Milu into the exchange. And then I'll show you like what we've got ultimately for the exchange again. All right, 23 more player picks there. Here we go. Give me some big fodder, EA. I want 84s, 83s. I want 90s. I want blue cards. I want informs. I want it all. I want it all. And I want it now. I'll take an 85 Kalhanoglu. Yeah, the cup was brilliant. The cup was brilliant. We still, although saying that, take an eighty-eight Kandreva. Saying that, I went into the cup yesterday to do the cup games. All three players I played against logged into the game, put their control down. What's the point? Now I got the wins easy, which is nice because it worked towards my friendly's win. But every single person put their pad down, and so it's like you're going into this game not because you want to play but because you want the reward and you could do nothing for it, it you'd be better going to the exchange. Oh, Pasquero, give me, give me the exchange, baby. We actually didn't get many uh, good exchange players here, did we? Which is why then Team of the Week and the 84x5s and stuff come in handy because it kind of like repurposes your, uh, oh yeah, your, your fodder. But why play if you can put the controller down and do something better with your time? So, but but then why even bother turning the game on, Certy? That that's my point, right? You're like, why play if you could just not play and still get the same outcome? So then why why do you even 
to switch the game on in the first place. Hey, Donnarumma. Okay, we've got some nice fodder for the exchange out of this. Wouldn't mind a little bit more, mind you. Every champs took team looks the same. It does, doesn't it? Or Martinez. Two more picks to go here. Three Edin Dzeko. Oh, how did uh, Fenerbahce get on today? I didn't put Mansky into a lineup. All right, guys. So enough of the exchange, exchange, and the uh, player picks because. We could just literally do it forever. This is the team that we will be taking into our first few Champs games. And you'll notice some differences. First of all, we've got a lot more Arsenal players in the team. We've got Alex Scott, William Saliba, uh, Jakob Kivior, Midemar and Hertig. We've also got um, Joshua Kimmich, Matson, and Vola in the team. Because we need to win, I think, three games with three Bundesliga players in the starting eleven to complete the objective. Which is cool. And then we've got Willian... Zidane um, and Yashin to finish off the team. And on the bench, we've got some fun players, including Werner and Julie, both of who I really, really like. But this is a squad. Let's get into some games. All right, guys, as we go into foot champs proper, um, I did something this time around where we don't have any live foot champs games. Going back off of what I was talking about briefly whilst we were doing the qualifiers about uh, playing live versus playing not live, whether that's on stream or off stream. I'm I like sometimes and not all the times, but sometimes playing this game on autopilot or like in flow state or whatever, which I think is a bit too extreme to call it. But playing this game on autopilot is sometimes the best way to play it. And so quite often now I'll play two like the way I did these champs games is that like I played two or three games um, and then a break and played another couple of games, took a break. I, I, I was playing one night. Uh, I can't remember what my record was. Four and one, I think, because I, I play. I got to four and oh. And then, and you'll see that obviously. And then I played one game on stream and I lost it. And the guy was so bad, but he did something in the first like five minutes of the game that immediately makes my head go to, this is a stream sniper pro player. And now I'm going to lose this game. And then, and then um, I just like capitulated as a human being. And it's pathetic, like genuinely pathetic, right? But I, I went from four and one and I was just like, in, in my head, I was just like, do you know what? What? I just love this meter mark card. In my head, I was just like, let me just play now tonight until I lose. And then when I lose, great, right? And I got all the way up to like, I don't know, I think 10 and 2. And I was just like, amazing. Like, I was just, I was watching some streamers. I think I had Zway back on at the time. And uh, I was just enjoying just actually playing the game. And it reminded me of the RTGs of old, where it all used to be post-com. There never used to be any live gameplay. There never used to be any like reactions like that. It was just me being like, here's what I'm doing. You know, here's the team we're up against next. And look at this for a team, by the way. And it, and it was like, yeah, it, like it was genuinely a situation where I, I felt like the RTG of old. I was like, damn, man, I'm just playing FIFA for fun because I was enjoying it. Because sometimes, and you guys might, you might, you guys might like agree, or, or you guys might be sitting there thinking, what the hell does he mean? What a sad man. But... Sometimes I get anxiety to play champs, right? Like when I was 4-0, and when I started, I was like, oh man, like even at 4-1, I'm like, oh God, oh God, I'm getting like this anxiety to actually play the champs games. I don't want to go in and lose and stress my head and, and feel like all stressed and whatnot. And so I was like, no, it, like this is a video game. And so I put her tig in at left wing because I needed to do her Evo. And I was like, that's it. Like I'm just grinding the Evos. Every time I get a win, it works towards her Evo. We're going to go to the Arsenal Evo side of things uh, shortly. But yeah, it was, and there is the first upgrade on Hertig as well. It was a lot easier to just be like, I'd like, like in Rivals, right? Sometimes I'm like, right, I need to do some Evos. Let me go into Rivals. And I just know we're going to have some tough games because we're in a high division. It's really difficult. Everyone's insane. Everyone's team's insane. But we've got to go and play the games, right? But so yeah, um, as I'm playing champs here, I'm just playing it a little bit more relaxed. And it's it's a shame how, like, the trajectory of m my kind of, like, 
life cycle in the road to glories has gone from post com only to introducing live com uh, to being able to smack people silly senseless live all the time and less and less not pretend there weren't any rage moments in there because there was and then all of a sudden to being in a situation where i'm like i can't even play live and it's it's such a weak mindset that i have to get over because everybody else does it way plays live i plays live Bates plays live Orzio plays live nick plays live run the foot market nick plays live like all of these guys all play their games live and I'm all here like, oh, guys, let me protect myself. Like, it's just sad. It's just sad. And so I've got to go over it. And I'm working on it. Like, I'm making a genuine conscious effort to work on it. However, back to some comments. Um, I'm going to go for DeFi by Alex first. He says, maybe I'm missing it. But how on earth did you get to that level so fast? I'm not even close. Was it because of the Kits XP? Because I don't have 75k to pay for those. But it would make sense. And uh, also, Jordan said, where did the 85 by 7 come from? So the 85 by 7 came from the season pass. It was one of the options there. Uh, instead of the 85 by 10, I took the 85 by 7 or whatever the where, whatever it was. Um, in terms of how to get XP real fast without buying the kits, when you get to the last week of the season, I don't know how long we've got left on this current season. Uh, does foot.gg have the, uh, have the info on the season? Uh, I don't think it does. But um, yeah, I don't know how long we've got left on this current season. But... When you get to the last week or the last three or four days, right, just save, just don't claim anything with XP. And EA gave, at the end of last season, an objective that gave 4,000 XP for just playing a game. Um, it was like the daily play or something. You go and play one or play two games and it gave you like, just, yeah, literally 4,000 XP. And you just don't claim it. And then when it auto claims when the season resets, you end up getting yourself all of the XP. I think I ended up getting like 5,500 XP straight away um and then you also have as long as you do your rivals rewards as well you'll get another like 700 or 1500 xp depending on what division you're in or whatever and that's really cool too and so it's really easy to get xp i mean in general ea like got the season pass wrong and we'll, we'll get to that a little bit more um in in a moment but in general like ea have got the season pass wrong and it's just again it's not something that you actually have to work towards it's something that you just have to kind of be around for like you could probably start the season halfway through and still complete the season before it ends and i'm not necessarily saying that i want people to miss out but i do think that there should be something that rewards people that are consistently grinding the game um but anyway super john 49 uh the penultimate comment uh for today he says regarding your comment on evo squad's video on main channel and the comment that i made was What's the point of playing champs when you have, for example, a full Irish team, you don't need the rewards? And he said, it's not just you, but it's a pity the game has become so reward focused that you have to ask what the point of playing is, if not for the rewards. I have a Nordic Evo RTG. I play champs because I think it's play fun playing with my Puki, Lindelof, Skov, etc. I get 16 to 18 wins each week. I don't really play for the rewards. I just play to play. Much more rare nowadays to see people just play to play instead of only playing for the rewards. It's quite weird. You're absolutely right. It is so weird. It is so weird and, you know, not to kind of be a broken record with it, but it's it kind of is weird for me, the situation I'm in on this account, because I really, really, really want to play with the Arsenal Evo team and the Arsenal players, but it is really hard. And I credit you for being able to get to 16 to 18 wins with a Nordic Evo team. Now, you might end up having actually some crazy players and you might not even have all Evo players. You might end up having, I don't know, some uh, some like heroes or icons or whatever, right? Um, and, and also, if you've got like Erling Haaland, team of the year up front, it makes a big difference <laughs> to having some like 84 rated random player up front, right? So, um, yeah, it's it's one of those situations where it's like, like I really want to play to play, but the the issue and it comes down to game modes. And do you know what? I'm going to throw in the last comment because it all, all ties into the same thing, right? The last comment is from Dennis. He said this game needs a desperate revamp on gameplay side. It's so bad, and you're absolutely right. It does. Uh, we're going to get down to a little bit more about that in a second, but um, yeah, it, it comes down to again of the way EA have the game modes, right? And the most fun game mode is qualifiers. 
and it's form based. The next most fun game mode is Foot Champs, and that's also form based, but it's of course incredibly sweaty uh, because the only people that qualify for champs are the people that were good enough to even win in the qualifiers. The next most fun game mode is debatably um, Draft. Then you've got like the kind of worst game mode uh, of, I mean, Squad Battles, I think, is the absolute worst, but. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that like squad battles and play like just like playing offline. So if if that's you, that's that's great. Um, but the next least fun game modes are friendlies and rivals, and it's because it's skill based. And I'm not saying you know like sometimes people think you're just looking for an easy ride, right? I'm not saying I want an easy ride every single time. There just needs to be like some kind of like reasonable balance with how difficult the game mode is versus the rewards that you get. For example, that Friendly Cup that EA did, uh, the the Foot Fan FC Fantasy Friendly Cup, that has been the best thing gameplay-wise they've done this whole game cycle because of the way they've limited the team, the rewards you got, and the fact that it felt like it wasn't strictly based to your rival's rank, right? It certainly was still not easy. You know, I think if you played with no matchmaking, that would also be horrible for the game. But it certainly wasn't easy, but it was still a situation where it was a lot more fun. Four minute halves was a lot more fun. The max cap on the team was a lot more fun. It actually enabled me and allowed me to use different players. And I, I spent the first sort of five or ten games playing with my Arsenal team. But then I packed a load of those uh, FC Fantasy cards. So I spent the next ten or whatever games playing with the FC Fantasy cards that I packed to try them out. It turns out I really liked a couple of them. I really didn't like a couple of them. I think some of them are a bit underrated. I think the uh, um, Andre is absolutely brilliant, and yet nobody nobody uses him. And, and I, so I really, really liked it. <clears throat> and I really, really liked that because I was playing to play, but I was also playing for rewards because the packs that you get are all so nice. And I think, you know, I, I know I've said this, at this point, ad infinitum, it's like 100 times over, right? But I think EA's best bet to save this game for FC25, even though if they don't quote-unquote save the game, we will still buy the game, spend money on the game, play the game so much. Like, it, it's not like, you know, if, if EA don't bow down to what I'm asking for here, the game's done. But if EA don't save this game by giving us game modes that make sense next year, it's just going to be another year of, like, really painful experience within the game and nobody really wants that and it's really simple what they can do right like i've talked about this before we'll, we'll mention it again here they have got the rights to the champions league the europa league the conference league uh they've got premier league special rights but remember the world cup tournament before like not this not the most recent world cup one because they didn't do something too good with that but the game mode where you went into the world cup and you could play the world cup just make that for Champions League or and make one for Conference League and make one for Europa League or just make one for Champions League and you go into it and you can use your team and maybe you have to have like set requirements you know maybe you have to have like a X amount of Champions League cards or whatever and then have a group stage have a knockout stage and based on where you finish you get a reward and then you could just play it again right and you can set milestones and objectives to it and just make it seeded so just like the draft is so if you're in the group stage, you play somebody in a group stage. If you're in a round of 16, you play somebody in a round of 16. If you're in the final, you play somebody in the final. And so naturally, you might find somebody who's really good and you're in the final against them. You might somebody you might find somebody who's just had lucky matchmaking and got all the way to the final and like you, you play against somebody bad in the final and then just give rewards according to it. And it's like one of those things where it's like, what a fun game mode that would be where people could just go in and then you could like start putting Evo side of things in there and, and a few other bits and bobs. And, and then when it comes to friendlies, you know, friendlies, EA haven't really focused on friendlies this year. And I think it's because they know last year people hated friendlies because of the strict, like, uh, skill-based matchmaking where it was tied to rivals. And it had a ne negative impact on how rivals worked because people ended up sandbagging in rivals to get easier matchmaking in friendlies, which doesn't make any sense. So I think because of that, this year, EA have actually gone less on the friendlies competitions Apart from, hey, guess what? Until FC Fantasy, they give us a friendly competition. It requires a lot of games, and they even gave it like a booster for it in week two. And it wasn't strictly tied to rivals. Like, it might still be based on your rank, but it's like it was a few years ago, where it was like, yeah, if you're in Division 4, you it's loose. So you might play some Division 7 guys, you might play a Division 1 guy, or whatever. 
and obviously the higher up the divisions you go the less people are there so if you're in a higher division chances of you playing against somebody lower is, is better but people enjoyed this game mode and the way that they could just change friendlies in an instant to being one of the most enjoyable game modes is just make it form-based matchmaking instead of skill-based matchmaking right if you lose a game you're negative one if you lose five games you're negative five when you're when you have a form, you match up against somebody around that form. So if you sit there right now in friendlies and get pumped 10 games in a row, the game's like, oh, you're still in Division 2, so we're just going to match you up against another Division 2 player. Boring, right? If you if you get pumped 10 games in a row in form-based matchmaking, you're going to be coming up against somebody else who got pumped 10 games in a row, which, guess what? They're going to be as bad. So you're going to end up getting like favourable matchmaking, and you'll be in an area where you're kind of winning one, losing one, and... Similarly, if you're winning, if you go on a five, six, seven, eight win spree, it's not you're not just going to keep getting easy players. You'll eventually get players that are good, and then the balance will come again. And it's just the easiest thing to make friendlies good. But in general, the game modes are just bad. And you know, for me personally, I don't think the old rival system was very good either. People people keep asking for it back where you could like relegate, but it was awful because all people did was was relegate. Um, but yeah, I, I think for me personally, oh, oh such a good card. I think for me personally, FC24 is crying out, crying out for new game modes. And even squad battles, right? They could massively change squad battles so that it's enjoyable and engaging to play. Right now, you know, the first few weeks of squad battles is always good because you get rewards and packs that are good. You're able to do all the goals, things and objectives and milestones and stuff. And it's just an easy way to kind of like farm the game for that first sort of like three, four hours. Um, it's good, right? But, you know, I haven't played FIFA Mobile or FC Mobile in a fair fair while. But I always remember their, like, offline campaigns being amazing. And you'd get, like, loads of cool players from doing it. And, like, it would be, like, a journey and it would get more difficult. And you would need different teams to, like, you know, you, you'd have to play one game. And you'd have to have an England team that's minimum, like, 85 rated. Not maximum. Because that, that way, like, encourages you to improve your squad, upgrade your players and stuff. And it was just crazy, like, how good it was. And, and EA, again, could just do the same thing with squad battles. Not the same, same thing. And they could certainly still have a mode like squad battles where it's just, like, open open play against teams to complete objectives. But imagine a squad... Um, imagine an offline mode that's, like, kind of like career mode, but in ultimate team. It's like, why haven't they done this yet? And the truth of why they haven't done this yet is mostly because they haven't actually created... A new game in 13 years they have just built upon the old game consistently and one of the rumors i heard and i don't know how true this is you know you hear some things through the great grapevine but one of the rumors i heard is that the reason why draft hasn't changed in any real capacity over the last sort of seven or eight years is because of the developer that created the draft no longer works at ea and they don't really know like, I don't want to say that other other people, other developers don't know how to like do it or whatever, but they effectively don't know how to like recode it without like having to build it from the ground up. And of course, they don't want to do that because that requires resources, money, time that they just don't have. And so, or they just don't want to use because why would you when the draft is in a mode that brings in the most amount of money, right? And so instead, the draft just kind of gets left by the wayside. And it's really poor for EA because they make billions of dollars not the development team but like EA, eafc make or ea electronic arts in general make billions of dollars because of this franchise and instead of them kind of giving back to the people that play their game and spend money on their game by improving the game and the game modes they focus intensely instead on the store and how to draw more money out of their customers and whilst it's working for them now it nothing lasts forever it will eventually come back to bite them in the butt and that might be because of ufl that might be because of goals that might be because of um uh ea no sorry fifa and 2k combining but eventually something will have to change and i'm i'm longing for that day where ea are kind of like forced into making genuine genuinely like productive gameplay improvements that improve the user's experience on the game because i can tell you this like now already 
it feels like historically they've done a lot of things that that have been to purposely kind of like reduce the user's experience for example it used to be so much easier to build SBCs. now it's not the fact that we have functionality on the web app to do certain things for SBCs, but we don't have that functionality on the console is crazy the fact that we can't search for players by rating is crazy the fact that uh, you can't just auto populate the actual requirements for an SBC is crazy the fact that we have a limit on the number of SBCs you can do the number of games you can play the number of cards you can hold in your club the number of uh, the number of um but well no that that was it but the fact that you have like a limit on those things but you don't have a limit on the number of packs you can buy and the number of FIFA points you can add it's crazy and <clears throat> so when it comes down to like you know what the initial comment from Super John was about it's sad that we don't just play this game to play it comes back to what Dennis said the game needs a revamp on gameplay and the reason why people don't play this game just to play and have like a general goal of like overall improving your team as time goes on to just keep up with like the, having the better players is genuinely because the gameplay and the game modes are the least concern for EA and all they want to do is sell packs and it's really sad and because that all they want to do is sell packs they have created an environment where rewards are the best thing about this game because when you get a reward where does it take you the store what else is in the store the packs that you can buy when you get um when you complete your weekend league it takes you to the store when you complete an objective get a 5k pack takes you to the store everything takes you to the store and they've cultivated over some years a community at least of like hardcore players a community of people that really have been conditioned to thinking the only way to get better at this game is to get packs and to get better players out of packs and that's not even true in itself because SBCs exist objectives exist um uh yeah um evolutions exist and there's this weird like situation for me as i say like where i would love to be able to play with my team my arsenal team but one of the things that stops me from doing that outside of the fact that it's way below the power curve is there's some really cool players in this game some really cool players that guy was a competitive player by the way um there's some really cool players in this game and for example, that team of owner is so cool. The Vola is so cool. I don't have to necessarily play a thousand games with all of these players to get feel like I've got my value out of them. But like, you know, that Rolfo, I want to complete Rolfo. I want to play some games with her. I might like her, I might hate her. If I love her, she stays in the team. If I don't, she goes. You know, we've got Steph Catley, our left back, our 93 rated Evo left back. I genuinely thought she'd be in my team till team of the season because she's that good. But then I tried, um, who's my left back now? Uh, I had Kivior at left back because of his long ball Pass plus, he's just way better. And now we've got a left back. I can't even genuinely. Oh, I've got Matson at left back. I'm going to be taking him out because I actually don't enjoy him. But playing with like new players is fun. And it's a weird situation where I want to both play with the exact same team loads because I really, really like that aspect of Ultimate Team. But I also want to play with lots of new players because I really like that aspect of Ultimate Team as well. And both of those things all come full circle to around exactly what we've been talking about. And that's that there is no real particular game mode to play with fun, new creative teams or players. We get a 99 Zimmerman in there, by the way, guys. That's a third a third glitched Evo we played against this time around. Um, yeah, there's just, there's just nowhere to play in a manner that is both enjoyable in terms of who you play against. And as, as I say, I'm not necessarily saying we need to play against the uh, the easiest player every single time because that would be equally as boring. Like, imagine playing 100 games against beginner squad battles. You'd be bored after about two games. You'd be like, okay, this is fun. I've scored 50 goals again. Well, oh, boring. And that's genuinely how it's like online if you're playing against, like, weak players constantly as well. Um, so I'm not saying that. But it comes down to the fact that EA just really could do better with giving us game modes to play in and, and giving us like restrictions or giving us not restrictions, but objectives to play with things. 
objectives tab is an amazing area for EA to, to, to allow us to build creative teams and be rewarded for it. It doesn't even have to be rewarded with like icon packs or whatever. It could just be fodder packs because then we can do with that in the menus what we want. There you go, though, guys. That was our 14th win. And uh, let's go live. Get our rewards. All right, guys. So unfortunately, I did end up losing game 19. Really, really close game. He scored in like the 82nd minute to win it. Um, before we get our rewards, another weekend league where first of all, we've hit 14 again. Um, and once again, playing off stream and not live just makes a massive influence for me. makes a big difference. I really enjoyed the team. Um, I was hoping that uh, Kimmich, Matson, and such would be uh, really, really good. I really like Kimmich, but Matson, after playing with him for, what, 23 games now, not actually sold on him. I don't think he's very good. The Anticipate Plus is really nice, but for a left back, it's very rarely used, actually. So um, outside of that as well, I've tried Hemp again. I've, I've had a few players in this left-hand side slot, as you would have seen. I've tried Werner. I've tried Hemp. I had Willian over there for a game because I put Gabriel Jesus in at the right wing spot. And uh, I, I just can't get on with Hemp at all. I can't get on with her. She has got a couple of assists, like to De Jong and stuff. Then when it comes to the attackers, my best attacking partnership right now is this. Miedemar and De Jong. They are both phenomenal. This guy came on as a sub, scored a lot of goals. We obviously used him uh, a few games as well to start. And uh, Timo Werner, I also really, really, really like. But... Um, the thing that De Jong gives is just that capability of crossing. So another good weekend league. Um, you know, we're going to go and give away a win now, but another good weekend league. I think a lot of the... I, I took a couple of losses to a couple of competitive players. My second and third loss were against competitive players. Um, one of them absolutely smacked me. One of them was a close game. And I lost one other game by a fair bit. By like The guy was just very, very good. And so it's another weekend again where I'm just generally really content with how I've played even through the losses. The, my first loss was a really, really dumb one. Um, my first loss was one where I really feel like I should have beaten the guy. And it was early on in the, the, the run as well. But what I'm really enjoying ab about it this weekend and what I've really enjoyed about, again, about playing the game this weekend is I wasn't chasing 14 wins. I'm getting 14 wins. You know, it wasn't just a few weeks ago that I was struggling to hit 11. You know, was, I, I was getting to like, I was six and six, I was eight and eight, or I was like 10 and seven or 10 and six sometimes. And then I'd stress it out 11 wins and then I'd struggle to try and like push up to 14 and I'd end up you know, falling on 12 or 13. Whereas this time around, we're getting to 14 wins two weeks in a row now with games to spare. And that is because I've just improved the way I'm playing, um, which is really, really good. Now we should have an insane amount of other objectives complete as well. Uh, we have got an 84 by 5 from the season pass. We have got an 85 by 3 from the season pass. And of course, this uh, this level 25 here, we're going to be taking the 84 by 20. We've also done now 40 wins for an 87 by 4. I just need eight more wins for the premium uh, red. And uh, you know, it's, it's mad, but the premium red just makes people um, a little bit more scared, I suppose. Every time I see a premium red, I'm like, oh God, he's very good. Because you do have to actually be very good to get a premium red but let's see what we get for our rewards guys last weekend we got 15 and 5 and the rewards were absolutely atrocious like literally the worst they could be i do want to complete uh, a couple of player sbcs and the icon sbc so i actually would like some high rated fodder not for the exchange but for the sbcs um you know we had a lot of fun with the exchange i oh, will take an inform but uh yeah at least this time we got an inform out of these which is quite nice Awful, isn't it? It's genuinely awful. It's genuine, genuinely awful. An 87, an 85 in form, and an 84. Uh, we'll throw the 84 away. Uh, then we get an 85 by 3 tradable. It's an inform again. Hopefully some good coins. Belgian goalkeeper. Thibaut Courtois as well. So it's a 90 rated with an inform in behind. Come on, be one of the big ones. I don't think there's many like elite level informs. But I think there's a couple. Who is it? It's Bobby Firmino. Is that Firmino? I think it is Firmino. And we also get in here, oh, just an 85. So Courtois, I'll sell for the coins for him. Uh, Firmino will also get sold. And uh, Martinez, in spite of how cheap he is, will also get sold. Um, that leaves us with tradable, again, jumbo and 100k pack. Oh, yeah, come on. Give me one of the big ones. French. Send him It's going to be Lise Melu, unfortunately. Oh, Pedro Porro in here as well. He's only 20k. 
He's a uh, he's quite nice though, isn't he? Because he's liable. They didn't keep a clean sheet, but they did get a win in their first game. He's injured, but he might be back, I think, for the next games. Um, so that's all right. We'll sell Erdegaard. Uh, we get 87 Podro. We'll sell Lee's. We'll, we'll list all of this stuff up. Lee's Miller is probably like discard price anyway, but he is actually due now a couple of upgrades, isn't he, to an 88. So that's not too bad. Um, we'll send those into the trade pile. We'll discard those and store all of those. And then our ultimate pack. Come on, give me something big. Nope. Not going to be. It's just going to be a, hopefully, a walkout. It is. It's Mary Earp's walkout. We'll list her up and sell her on. And then I'll get rid of that as well. That can all go. Um, and that leaves. Let's do the campaign pack. 85 plus campaign mix pack. Who's it going to be? We. Oh, never mind. Like Bargy or something, isn't it? Or Larson. Yeah, it's 85 Larson. Never mind. Could, could have just given me like an 88 or an 89 for the exchange EA, couldn't you? We've got an 85 by 3. It's an inform. It's going to be Erdegaard and an inform. Hey, I don't mind the Erdegaard. Uh, we've got inform Bobby Firmino. I will quick sell recover him uh, and probably put him into an SBC or into the exchange. Um, we've got an 84 by 5. Yeah, German. CD oh, Kimmich, nice. Oh, no, it's not. It's Oberdorf. Never mind. Just Oberdorf. So 87 Oberdorf, I will go and put into the exchange. I should have just done it with uh, Firmino, really, shouldn't I? Um, I don't actually have that much like high-rated fodder, but I do want to complete Rolfo Schmolarek. I think Rolfo is going to be a big addition to our team at left-back, actually. And uh, I also want to do, of course, that icon, um, that icon pick. Who was the player that I just got? Oberdorf, wasn't it? 87 rated. Go. Oh. Um... I'm like, look, I'll prove it to you. Like, I don't have that much high-rated fodder. I've just got four 87s and 89 and a few 86s. I was hoping that the Foot Champs rewards would bless us with like a whole bunch of like high-end fodder to just go and do those SBCs. It hasn't. So instead of grinding the exchange, I'm instead going to grind um, player picks with all the low-rated fodder that we've got. And then I will also grind league SBCs, I think. Um, just to just to get these these things complete. So we're going to get ourselves just a 82 rated. Um, only an 81, is it? Oh, no, it is an 82. Uh, just an 82 rated from that. But nice for the, uh, you know, swapping out the, the, the thingy, my Bobby Majiggy. And then our last pack, guys, an 87 by 4. It's not a special card. It's going to be Endler. Should, well, it's going to be a double walkout. So the other card's going to be higher rated than Endler, which is nice. Hopefully an 89 or a 90. A De Bruyne 91 would be nice. Ruben Diaz 89. That is really nice. And hopefully some other big cards in here. Not really. But that's enough for me to start on those other SBCs, which is what we're going to start with in tomorrow, in the next episode for qualifiers. But today, that is going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.